Hey guys, so I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time now. I get a lot of requests to make uh, either custom pieces or one-off, uh, but most of the time I require some type of uh, sketch, drawing, or design. So I want to explain a few things, or actually show you a few things on how I get uh, some of the distro blocks made, or how to get measurements needed for your own custom piece. So here is some old examples I got, just to give you an idea. Um, the way I, I like to start is by cutting a piece of cardboard of the area that you want to maybe put a distro block or a reservoir and from there try to get some measurements so for example something like this I will try to measure the height of the piece that I want it to be the width and any cutout so I will try to get the measurement from the top to the to this edge uh, put it maybe right here on the cardboard write it the distance same thing with the distance here and the distance between here and here um, once I get the cardboard cut out I like to you know place it where it might actually go and from there I like to either start trying to imagine how am I gonna run the tubing for the for the loop so for example something like this I will say uh, maybe the water goes in right here it goes up to here then maybe another port somewhere here uh, that will go into the inn from here I can either come back maybe into here again or go into the CPU from the CPU come back into here and so on so we can start to just you know put the little holes in the piece of cardboard or for something like this which has more like an angle it might be a little more difficult for people to uh, give me these measurements if they don't know how to do that so for instance the way I like to do something maybe like this would be maybe with like a put like a square or something and from there I will say okay the height from here to here it's um, let's say 300 millimeters uh, the distance from here to here is only let's say maybe 200 but if we measure or you can just give me the measurement where it actually starts so by measuring the bottom edge to where it starts then you can put uh, from here to here it's uh, 100 millimeters or 50 and the same thing for the top edge uh, the width and if any of the ports need to be at uh, specific locations uh, what sometimes it happens is that people measure the piece that they want it to be made but then they put the ports really really close to the edge and in fact I actually need a little spacing between the port and the edges because I need to put the little o-ring around it uh, sometimes there's gotta be uh, screws to hold the two pieces together so when you're designing your own custom piece try not to go or try not to put the ports really close to the edge give a little spacing uh, even in between channels uh, it requires some spacing for screws and the o-rings um, also don't forget uh, any mounting points maybe you want to use uh, original holes that the case already has so you try to mark those in your uh, let's say maybe in your piece of cardboard and then just take the measurements again from either this edge or this edge to 
point out to me where all these little holes or this needs to to be um, so today what I want to try to do is maybe a distro play for this uh, height y60 case and maybe show you a few things on how I do it here I got the piece of cardboard so I'm just gonna put it inside the case just to give me, like I said, an idea of the distro block I want to create. Uh, the next thing I will try to do will be mark all the locations for the ports. So we're gonna we're gonna maybe these are just like I said maybe right now. I will maybe try to put there is two two ports for the for the side radiator so maybe I will put like a port somewhere here and another one in the other side so it will be one connection for one side one connection for the other side uh, this this drop block it's a bit tricky because of the width uh, here I have a, a pump bracket and it's almost the same width as this piece of cardboard so it will be a little tricky to put a pump plus a lot of channels in and out in this amount of space that's why I say try to put the the ports no close to the edge but a little farther in because I'm gonna need space for all rings maybe for a pump so for instance I'm just gonna in mind that the pump is gonna be somewhere here the next thing will be to start putting all the ports for here uh, I can maybe use like a piece of like a like a ruler so here I'm just gonna do something like this and say like okay my measurement will be here come to this side and maybe mark it and then say okay uh, one port will have to be right here uh, maybe see if I can get the one for the for the CPU so somewhere here I know the distance from one port to the other port so let's say I can just put another one here and we want maybe a connection for the top radiator so to give it some space I would say maybe one port right here and maybe let's put the other one somewhere here here we only have one connection for the GPU and this is where sometimes designing something like this can take me uh, hours or days or sometimes even longer because no uh, water blocks are the same for instance like this water block right here we can see that it's much lower and this one so the ports are now on the same location so when I'm designing something that could possibly work for uh, uh, different blocks I need to figure out the distance with this block I need to figure out the distance with this block so for this setup what I'm gonna try to do is maybe use uh, two 90 degrees so it can be something like this so the same thing I just come take my measurement uh, I actually like to do it with a laser level so all my lines will be marked right here in the cardboard so I can take it like this but for for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna be using let's say this uh, ruler 
so I'll just come and I say okay my next port will be right here so there is all the ports let's say maybe I need for this distro block and it actually the 90 coming down is actually at the same level for this block over here which again no all water blocks are the same but they're all kind of close to each other somewhere a little somewhere around there so when I design these pieces I try to accommodate somewhere in between uh, try to give the most parallel runs um, so once I have this the next thing like I said will be for me to do to try to input all these measurements into my program uh, figure out uh, the spacing that I need now this is the other the other part that sometimes is a little tricky and that's why it takes me a long time is the size of orange uh, for instance let's take this for example let's say the channel right here goes is gonna go something like this so I'm gonna need an o-ring that goes like this and let's say that this other piece over here is gonna have maybe an o-ring like this so what happens is that the orange that I have in in stock or that are available for me it come in certain sizes so let's say this orange right here might not match up to the orange that I have so I need to either try to figure out that if there is a uh, an orange that's closer to the size that I need and then adjust the design to make the orange fit so sometimes uh, let's say the orange might be smaller so in order for me to to make it smaller my, I might say like well this port cannot go there I'm gonna have to put it somewhere up here and then this orange will be a little smaller because that will give me the same the the exact orange that I need for this piece let's say so when people design their distro blocks give sometimes you got have to maybe give me some space to play around with how to make the channels something like this i might have the sizes uh but when it start the orange start to get bigger and bigger after the 200 it starts to jump uh, like uh, two I think it's like 216 and then 240 and then from 240 like 292 so there is not that many sizes in between uh, 200 and 292 so I gotta work with those orange to try to make all of this fit uh, at the same time is one of the reasons of why I don't make large pieces because the orange they don't make those large orange the only way will be to uh, have the have to order the orange custom made but by ordering custom made orange what happened is that I have noticed that in the past the orange are bonded so you have like a seam and to me I feel like the seam eventually could fail if something were to maybe when you're cleaning it maybe you pull it maybe pull the the orange and may might, might split apart so that's why i try not to use custom orange anymore but uh, for some pieces there is no other way but only to use a, a custom orange take longer to get i gotta order them wait for them to make them and then send it to me so that could take uh, a week sometimes almost two weeks so here's the piece of cardboard after I cut all the holes uh, that I marked in the 
piece of cardboard and I like to just do like a like I said like a imagine or try to build a loop with it uh, that way I can figure out if all the placement of the ports will actually work uh, sometimes sometimes you know I notice that once I cut the piece of cardboard maybe the port maybe going to the top might not actually work out or it might make a little difficult to connect so sometimes I end up moving them or switching them um, so here's just an idea of what the the distro plate might look like hopefully I get this piece done and it will be available in my store and but if you guys have any questions about this video or something about how to make a custom piece just let me know you can send me a message or con leave me a comment here on this video uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time